Hi everyone! So today we're going to read this story. It's called Let My People Go. This is Moshe, and he's telling Paro to let the Jews be free. A burning bush, and it began. That's Moshe. As Hashem told Moshe, here's my plan. But Moshe was a simple man. He said, I just don't think I can. Poor Moshe. Hashem would not hear the answer, no, and said, with Aaron you will go, to lead my people from Paro. Tell him that Hashem said no. So Moshe spoke to mean Paro. Hashem says, let my people go. And Paro shouted, no, no, no. A big mistake. He didn't know that Hashem would deal a mighty blow. A plague, a plague, a plague, the Egyptians said to Paro. Hashem has turned the water red. There are no more fish. Where's some water we can drink? We cannot stand this icky stink. P.U. Then Moshe said to me and Paro, Hashem says, let my people go. And Paro said, no, no, no. A plague, a plague, a plague. Frogs were Pharaoh's next nightmare, he cried. They're hopping everywhere. Tell Hashem to send the frogs away. Then you can go without delay. They're in my oven. They're in my bed. I think a frog jumped on my head. Uh Uh-oh. So Moshe prayed and the frogs went away. Then Moshe spoke to me and Paro. Hashem says, let my people go. And Paro said, no, no, no. A plague, a plague, a plague. The Egyptians cried, Oh no! Now lice are covering the cows and dogs and cats, covering us from head to toe. Please, Paro, let those people go. Then Moshe spoke to mean Paro. Ah, Hashem says, Let my people go. And Paro shouted, No, no, no! A plague, a plague, a plague! Hashem spread the ground with nasty flies, but Paro only answered lies. I'll let your people leave this place. Just get these flies out of my face. When Moshe said it's done, we'll go. Paro shouted, no, no, no. A plague, a plague, a plague. Soon the animals began to get sick. Egyptians were crying, please, Paro. Let them go, but Paro still would not listen. Then Moshe spoke to me and Paro. Ah, Hashem says, let my people go. And Paro shouted, no, no, no. A plague, a plague, a plague. Egyptians were really sad to see their skin had turned purpley red with some boils that began to spread. But Paro was old hard head. When Moshe spoke to Min Paro, he said, Ah, Hashem says, let my people go. But Paro shouted, no, no, no. A plague, a plague, a plague. Hashem continued to campaign with hail and thunder, mighty rain. There never been a worse event. It looked like Paro might relent. This is hail. Hail is little balls of ice. It's like snow, but it's bigger and it's harder and it's falling from the sky. Just like rain, but it hurts if it lands on you. So Paro was a little bit nervous. When Moshe spoke to Paro, he said, Hashem says, let my people go. But Paro still said, no, no, no. A plague, a plague, a plague. Now Hashem sent down a new command, and Moshe, with his outstretched hand, sent hungry locusts through the land. Locusts are these kinds of bugs. Maybe you've seen them before in real life or a picture. 
and they eat all the food. They eating all the apples and all the leaves. And Paro said, "This I cannot stand. Leave Egypt now, as you have planned." But when the people packed to go, Paro said, "No, no, no." A plague, a plague, a plague. Then Egypt had three days of night, when the Israelites enjoyed Hashem's light. It was so dark, even in the daytime, but the Jews still saw light. It was only for the Egyptians. So Pharaoh tried to. So Pharaoh, tired of the fight, said, "Wives and children, all can go." You cannot take your livestock, though. You can't take your cows or your sheep. Only the mummies and the babies can go. He really didn't mean it, so he soon was shouting, "No, no, no!" A plague! A plague! A plague! Hashem, through Moshe, said, "Beware! This plague is is not very good." All the firstborn boys are gonna get very sick, and and Para was a firstborn. Some of our friends in our class are firstborns.、Um, Benjamin is a firstborn boy.、Uh, who else?、Mm, Brody is a firstborn boy.、Mm, Xander is a firstborn boy. Um, yeah, and and Eli, you have an older sister, so you're second in your family.、Um, but soon, but sons of is of Israel, I will spare. So listen now, you must prepare. And as Hashem struck the final blow, Paro shouted, "Go, go, go!" And they're finally free. They're going out of Egypt. They're no longer slaves. And that's the story of Passover. That's Moshe, and he's bringing all of the Jews to freedom.